Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, we are checking out a new to us brand. Yes, I've never tried this mezcala before. This is a Mezcal Burrito Fistero. Yes, you cannot mistake this bottle. You can see this bottle from a mile away. Uh, the rest of their bottles as well have our painted donkey friend right on the front. Uh, super cool, super interesting. I'm digging the branding on this, so I'm really curious to see how the juice inside tastes. So taking a look at our bottle right here. Um, again, we got our donkey guy going on. Looks like his back, uh, he's he's carrying, well, it's not a camel. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like his back's an agave. Well, he's carrying an agave, all right? Looking pretty happy. We've got our agave down there. This is coming um, from Durango, yes, made from agave, Durangensis, uh, Ceniso. If you're familiar with Clase Azul, that's exactly where their mezcal comes from. So the same agaves used is in that brand is the same agaves here. We got a 42% artisanal hoven. Yes, so 42% ABV on there. Um, checking out the side. I got a little story. I'm going to keep that up there for you. It's produced with passion and dedication to the local community for you to enjoy its unique flavor of fiesta and every sip you take. Awesome. I'm digging it. Um, on the back, just some of that regulatory information. Or a little hologram sticker and uh, looking up at the top, Mescal Burrito. We have not opened this yet, but we are about to and get this poured out. All right. So while off camera, opening up this plastic, if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. So we have that plastic um, off. You guys know we like to cut our labels, just make it look really nice, really clean. Just kind of get the knife right on under there. And then we open this bad boy up. Let your bottles pop. Oh, yeah. And what do we have here? Like a nice red wooden top. I'm digging that. I like that. Kind of adds to the actual, um, the actual brand itself with this bright red going on we got the painted donkey it's all just coming together I'm, I'm really enjoying truly the branding on this i'm hoping the juice is going to taste all right let me move this over and let me put that there uh, the brand mezcal burrito itself again comes from durango and they say durango is the mexican wild wild west uh, but they're truly creating this brand with passion, all right? So it's an artisanal mezcal. If you're not familiar with what an artisanal mezcal is, um, really the vast majority of mezcal falls under this category. Um, some things that they cannot use, though it is prohibited, is the use of autoclaves, diffusers, and column stills, all right? So a little bit more of a traditional sense. It's not ancestral where they're using like tahonas and stuff. Um, in artisanal, they can still use like a shredder, which this does, but they're following a little bit more stricter guidelines than just a regular mezcal. All right. So like they do, again, they harvest the agave heart, uh, the hemidors chop it up, you know, get it ready for cooking. They cook it in underground pits for 72 hours using volcanic rock. From there, the agave is shredded into small pieces. Um, and crushed up through a powered mill, an electric solar powered mill this brand uses. And then um, all of those little crushed up chunks go into fermentation. After fermentation is distillation. After distillation is filtration. And then it goes into our bottles. All right. So a little bit about the brand itself. Taking a look at our legs and tears here. Um, you can see that they dissipate rather quickly it takes a second to go you can see that it takes a second to go but once it starts going um, it goes away it goes away rather quickly so 
Not too sticky, not too gone, but yeah, there it goes, all right. Super clear in color. Taking a smell, oh, oh, oh yes. Mmm. So not super smoky, but you can tell it is a mezcal. Oh, it's kind of cheesy in there. Mmm. Definitely got some, got some funk, got some cheese going on. I love it. Even satolish, like, kind of has like a satol, like a minty, a minty satol cheesiness to it. Definitely got some funk in there. I'm loving it. I love funky mezcals. Uh, but definitely minty spearmint, minty earth, earth and vegetal as well. But again, just really pungent and, and cheesy even, like a Parmesan cheese, a blue cheese, mixing it with some mint in there. Sounds really odd, but absolutely delicious. <laughs> Other brands I've had that kind of smelled like that. Um, it does make for a really cool and unique spirit. Um, again, this is at 42%. I mean, we even got some mold going on in there. Mm. All right, really funky. Let's take a taste. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, all right. So really not smoky at all on my palate. Um, a lot of those smells you get on, that funk, that cheese, uh, definitely shining in through here has kind of like, like a mintiness to it, like a freshness as well. Uh, even like eucalyptus, you could say, if you ever smelled fresh eucalyptus, definitely got some of that going on in there. Let's take another sip. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, that does remind me of a Satol, um, <clears throat> but it is a Mezcal. And it's interesting because this is the first um, Derengensis, uh, the Saniso Agave, that I've really had that tastes like this. That's interesting, where it tastes more like a Satol than it does um, an actual Mezcal. So really cool, really interesting. Definitely another offering and another layer of what mezcal can be. I could see this being used in a cocktail. And if you do end up going to their website, mezcalburrito.com, uh, they do give some great um, cocktail recipes. Uh, also, too, uh, they actually give back to the environment, which is kind of cool. They're committing to the world's preservation, and they're working on becoming the most sustainable mezcal distillery through the use of environmental, sorry, I can't read, environmentally friendly practices such as reforestation, renewable energies, and recycling, among others. So it says one bottle equals one agave. Um, to me, I'm taking that as they you buy a bottle, they plant an agave, which is awesome. You know, just kind of giving back to the land a little bit. Let's take this last sip. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. That is interesting. Ah, man, love mezcals because a lot of them bring so many different flavors to the, to the taste buds. And, you know, if you had one, uh, you know, Durango mezcal, it's going to taste different from another, the reality of it. And it's made in such a way too, that, you know, the time it was harvested is going to affect it. Um, <clears throat> you know, the rain that year, was it a lot? Was it not? How did that stress the agaves, you know? And it's really just very interesting how all of the terroir actually affects the juice itself. So mezcal burrito, digging this, really enjoying this. Um, if anybody gets a chance to try it or has tried it, would love to hear your comments down below. With that being said, we appreciate you being here. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. Take care, everybody.